we could see record turnout at the polls in November, with the state seeing the highest number of voters ever registered in a presidential election. Fox 47's Susan L. Corey spoke to local clerks about what they're doing to get ready. Casting his ballot Very good. is something Brandon Barron's isn't skipping this election. It's going to be one of the more crucial years. And he's not alone. Nearly 7.5 million people registered to vote in Michigan this election. It's the highest number the Secretary of State office has ever seen for a presidential race. We have to be prepared for record turnouts. Lansing City Clerk Chris Swope isn't wasting any time getting ready for the crowds. And it's the one that counts the votes. His team is checking over every ballot reader and doing test runs. With the age of the equipment that we have, uh, we do anticipate that we're probably going to have some issues crop up on election day. Uh, we have a couple of extra tabulators. And Swope says he's scheduling more poll workers during peak hours, which include the early morning around lunch, then from 5 until the polls close. If your schedule allows you to avoid those times, uh, that's helpful to you and to the other voters. That is clerks encouraging anyone who's qualified to vote using an absentee ballot this election. That includes people who are at least 60 years old because they make up about a third of the state's voters. The more people that we can get to vote absentee who are eligible, the less stress it places on the polling place. But since Barron's has to vote in person, he's hoping the lines won't be too long. Got to do what you got to do. And he's focusing on the upsides to busier polls. I think the fact that more people are voting is a good thing. I'm, I'm not going to avoid it just because you know, we're getting a better idea of what the country really wants. In Ingham County, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. Now, clerks are also recommending you look at a sample ballot before going to the polls and knowing how you're going to vote to help speed things up. And again, if you're eligible, you can request an absentee ballot up until the Saturday before Election Day.